In SAP HANA system, there are many tools that can be used to manage application development via HANA Access service. You can view the configuration details of HANA Access engine in HANA studio by double clicking on HANA system in system view pane and in the configuration tab. The access engine.ini file under the configuration tab is used to maintain the configuration of HANA access service. Let us go to SAP HANA system and see what is access engine.ini file and the value of this file. In this tutorial, we will discuss about SAP HANA access engine. So in SAP HANA system, there are many tools that can be used to manage the application development in HANA access service classic model and the advanced model. So we can provide the administrating and the support services to the access service model or can also perform the development under SAP HANA system. HANA access application service includes the tools available under SAP HANA access administration cockpit or we can also use SAP HANA studio to maintain the application development under HANA access service. So, how we can view the configuration parameters for the SAP HANA Access Engine in SAP HANA Studio. So let's see how we can see the different configuration options for the Access Engine. So for that what we have to do is we have to select the system. After that we will go to the administration. So once we will go to the administration we have to go to the configuration tab. Under the configuration tab we have all the different INI files which are there and in this INI files we have the file for the access engine as well. So we have to navigate to the access engine dot INI file under the configuration tab. So let's scroll down and here we have this access engine dot INI. So we can expand this and we can see the various configuration parameters for the access engine. So let's say if I expand this one, here we can see that we have the different configurations like the application container, cache, communication, geocoding, HTTP server. So all these settings we can check from here and we can change the values for them if required. So let's say if I go to the SQL, if I open this plan cache enabled. I can set up the values of the default value, active value. If I want, if I don't want to use the default value, I can set up the new value and this value will be active for the system. So similarly, we can change the different configuration files and we can use this access engine.ini and we can change the values of all these different parameters for the access engine. So in this tutorial, we have discussed about the HANA access engine.ini file, like how we can do the configuration settings for the access engine.ini. Thank you.